Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. Coming up in the news this week, an asteroid impact, um, paper cuts and uh, Kyrgyzstan. Starting off the news this week, a paper published in the journal Physical Review E has given us some insight into the physics of paper cuts. The paper acknowledges that the unpredictability of paper cuts has not yet had a proper scientific analysis and seeks to remedy this with its own research. The researchers say they found a remarkably complex relationship between cutting geometry and material properties. They did this by using a recreation of human tissue made from gelatin, which is found in stuff like jelly. Different thicknesses and material of paper were tested, and it was found that 65 micrometer thick paper was the thickness most likely to produce the small but incredibly annoying cut. The researchers say that this was the perfect middle ground between the sharpness of the paper and how likely the paper was to buckle rather than cut the skin. As a final point, the paper then went on to show the potential use for this new research, as the researchers created a 3D printed cutting instrument that used what they had learned to install paper as the blade. They called the newly discovered cutting power of paper surprising, and with this application built for the study, perhaps there could be some genuine widespread use for this research somewhere down the line. And in other news, we're combining space and dino news because a study has come up this week on the Chicxulub asteroid and where it came from. The Chicxulub asteroid impact is currently the most widely accepted cause of the KPG extinction event that occurred 66 million years ago, wiping out three quarters of all life on Earth, including non-avian dinosaurs. One of the biggest pieces of evidence for this is the large amount of elements commonly found in meteorites that are found in rocks dating to this time, all over the globe, giving us just a small insight into just how massive this asteroid impact was. A new study published this week in the journal Science has taken a look at where this enormous space rock may have come from. By measuring some of the isotopes in samples gathered from debris left behind by this impact, the team determined that the asteroid actually formed in the outer solar system, meaning that it came from a place all the way out beyond Jupiter. As part of the research, they analysed material from other impacts as well, and in doing so, found that an asteroid impact from a rock that formed in this region of space is actually quite a rare occurrence indeed. Also in the news, a lion called Yuna has arrived safely in the UK after being evacuated from Ukraine. The three-year-old lioness is the first of two lions to arrive at the Big Cat Sanctuary in Kent. The Big Cats had been temporarily living in a shelter run by Wild Animal Rescue, which rescues animals from across Ukraine. Yuna has had a traumatic life. She was found by military volunteers in February 2023, housed in a small enclosure only 3 by 4 metres big and with only a concrete floor to lie down on. Yuna shared the space with a male lion who had become very aggressive after heavy shelling. She was very unwell, suffering from wounds caused by lying on the bare concrete floor, and she was so overweight due to a poor diet that she could not stand. Both lions were rescued and taken into the care of Wild Animal Rescue where Yuna's health improved, but she was still traumatised. Sadly, in January 2024, after a missile attack, debris fell about 300 metres away from Yuna's enclosure, causing her to suffer a serious concussion which led to a complete loss of coordination. Yuna is still recovering from the shock, but making progress, showing fewer signs of stress and becoming more interested in other lions. Her 1400 mile journey to the UK will be her last, as she is now in her forever home. We wish her a speedy recovery. If you would like to help the sanctuary build a second enclosure to house another evacuated lion, then there is a donation link in the sources. First up in the paleontology news for this week, we welcome a new species of theropod dinosaur from Kyrgyzstan. 
It's been unearthed from rocks of Middle Jurassic age dating from between 168 and 164 million years ago and has been named Alpcaracus kyrgyzicus. Alpcaracus is the name of a large bird that appears in the Epic of Manas, a central mythological event of the Kyrgyz culture, which often comes to the aid of the heroes as significant moments. The new dinosaur is known from two partial skeletons that together give us a pretty decent idea of this animal's anatomy. The larger of the two skeletons was likely a late sub-adult individual and preserves pieces of the skull, several vertebrae, ribs, bits of the hip, almost complete hind limbs and a couple of finger bones. The smaller specimen, probably a juvenile, comes from the same locality and preserves bits of the hips and the hind limbs. The fact that these two individuals of different ages were found in the same place might also potentially hint at gregarious or social behaviour in these dinosaurs. Alpcaracus has been found to be a metriacanthosaurid theropod, a group that lived during the Jurassic to Early Cretaceous and also include Sinraptor from China and Metriacanthosaurus itself from England. The addition of this new species to the group further shows the diversity of these dinosaurs and their broad distribution across Asia during the Jurassic. Alpcaracus seems to have been fairly similar in overall anatomy to Sinraptor, sharing with it the presence of a pronounced rugosity above the eyes, likely a kind of display feature. Alpcaracus was also a pretty large animal, reaching to about 7 to 8 meters in total length, about 23 to 26 feet. A wonderful new discovery then. Next up, we've got another new theropod dinosaur name this week as well. This time, it's from the late Cretaceous of France, making it about 99 to 98 million years old. It's been named Calatadraco Cotardi, after the Calites, a Celtic tribe that lived in this part of northern France, and Draco for dragon. Calatadraco is known from a partial skeleton comprising bits of the hips, a tail vertebra, ribs, and other fragmentary bones. There's also a theropod tooth that was found close to the bones and might be from the same species, or maybe from something that was feeding on the dinosaur. Interestingly, Calatodraco is an abelosaurid theropod, and more specifically, it belongs to a subgrouping within the abelosaurs called Furiliosauria. The Furiliosaurians had, until now, only been discovered in South America, and so this is quite a significant find that introduces some complexity to our understanding of how these dinosaurs evolved and spread across the planet. Another amazing new fossil find. Well, that's it for this week's 7 Days of Science. I do hope you enjoyed, and as always, we'll see you on Sunday.